Eric? 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 Uh, uh. Oh, Looney. Hey, what's up, little buddy? Um, I was just wondering why we haven't made a video in a while. You been up to something? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been making some videos with Inside of Mind. Um, mostly voice acting as his narrator and... Okay, but what about videos on this channel? Wasn't that, like, our whole thing? Yeah, but I keep running into a wall. What kind of wall? It's just the scripts I've been working on I haven't quite panned out the way I'd like them to. Ah, writer's block. Hmm. Why not make it again? Make it again? Yeah, kind of like the Draw It Again challenge where an artist takes one of their old pieces and draws it again, but with videos. I'm sure there's a video you look back on and have ideas that could be improved, so why not make it again? Wouldn't that just be redundant? You could always try to explore new ideas. And in any case, I'm sure that'll help your brighter block. Eh, maybe. Let's give it a go. Hello, interwebs! I'm Eric, and welcome to the Looney Turtle. A few years ago, I was watching Little Shy's Everything Wrong with Equestria Girls video, and this part got me thinking. Equestria will find a way to survive without my element of harmony. Actually, no, it's pretty much screwed. Now, in the case of Nightmare Moon and Discord, the elements of harmony were very clearly used to save the day. But when it comes to Chrysalis, they were intentionally locked away, and worse yet, the changelings trapped the main six before they could get to them. In later episodes, this wouldn't be a problem because the magic was inside of them the whole time. But at this point in the series, the only villain to even get close to beating the main six had to deal with those all-powerful pieces of jewelry. Unfortunately, in a Canterlot wedding, the day was saved by an unexplained magic of love. But the thing that I found interesting was that the main six could have been written out of the episode entirely, with little to no real changes. What? But the main six all had tasks specifically catered to them. And with all the ponies in Equestria, I'm sure that they could have been replaced by any random character. Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy all had simple tasks to fill for the wedding. And there are other ponies, especially in Canterlot, that could have filled their role with little to no real big difference. When it comes to Rainbow Dash, Honestly speaking, no one could really perform the Sonic Rain Boom in her place, because literally no other pony has performed it in Equestria. But I'm sure that since they already had fireworks, the Sonic Rain Boom could have been substituted by a hybrid of the Wonderbolts and fireworks instead. Rainbow doesn't have to be there. But wasn't Twilight trying to make sure that the plan stayed on track? I'm sure that she was needed for this episode. Maybe, but if you look at her scenes, it doesn't really look like she's doing much. More often than not, she's just telling the audience that something's off, only to be ignored. Since the main six haven't been friends for all that long in the series, it's believable that they wouldn't catch on to Twilight's suspicions, but it's interesting to see that Celestia was unwilling to listen to her. I mean, she's been your pupil for years, you know her! This should have been a red flag! That being said, Twilight could have been replaced by another wedding planner, or given that she didn't seem to do much, it's possible that her character could have been removed from the wedding with very little changes. To compound this, she's even uninvited from the event, so did she really help with the wedding in the first place? Well, I'm sure she was needed in the caves. I mean, didn't she help Cadence? I'm not so sure. When Twilight enters the caves and starts firing off her magic, we can see Cadence sitting down in what seems like a large opening. And when we get a closer look, there's a few more openings around her. So it's possible that she was trapped under Canterlot, but not in prison. What's the difference? Think of it like an escape room versus a jail cell. With both of them, you're trapped to an extent, but with the former, there's a way to get out if you're determined enough. Cadence wasn't put in a jail cell or encased in a bunch of stones. She was trapped in the caves under Canterlot, a labyrinth that might be hard to traverse, but not something that's impossible to get out of. Twilight may have helped Cadence get out of a closed off area, but there's an equal possibility that Twilight's conversation with Chrysalis distracted Cadence while she was trying to escape. But what if Cadence isn't powerful enough to escape the caves on her own? Cadence is a full-fledged alicorn at this point in the series, and with the Crystal Empire episodes, we're able to see her spread an emotion over an entire empire. With that skill, it's more than possible for her to blast a few holes in stone and escape. She was even the one who came up with a clever idea to use a bouquet of flowers at the cave entrance. So, while Twilight no doubt supplied some moral support along the way, Cadence has more than enough strength and determination to get out of the caves on her own, get rid of the changeling gunk, and save the day with the 
power of love. But isn't this show about Twilight and her friends? Yes, and that's ultimately why this story was written with them included, but all the way back in 2013, this concept was the very subject that inspired me to make videos like this. It may not be how things played out, and I'm glad it didn't, because then it would be too much of a change. But at least with all the negative reviews this episode's gotten over the years, it introduced a moment where Harmony saved the day. Not just our favorite little ponies, but the harmony form between two different characters in this world. We later saw the writers capitalize on this idea by having Starlight in the gang, and even the student Six got an opportunity to save the day. Each of these moments were a nice subversion of expectations. It expanded the world of Equestria and would have served the series well if they learned to just stop using the elements of harmony. Uh, okay. At least now we're done with the rainbow blasts. Oh, come on! But that's just what I think. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're at it, consider becoming a member of our Loonification Squad today by ringing that bell. You can also become a Patreon for as little as $3 a month, and some of the higher tiers will allow you access to exclusive behind-the-scenes info, private polls, you can put words in Looney's mouth, or get me to voice a line or two in your own videos. It's all in good fun, so head on over and support us today. Yeah, I always need a good shell buffing. You can also check out the first version of this video with the following link, and we'll We'll see all of you in the next video.